Welcome back to the records. We're in the record for Beam, sharing it with one other, of course, the previous episode. Jay Burrows, Orongorongo Valley, Rumataka Ranges, 1903, the Wairarapa Herd. Um, it's 11 by 9. The links are 43 and 2 by 41. Beautiful. Uh, it has a spread of 38, a span of 27 and 2. Beams on the left hand side is 7, and the right hand side is 9. Coronets are 9 by 9. Chunky stuff. Uh, the brow tines 11 and 4 by 11 and 4. The bays are 9 and 4 by 9. The trays are 14 and 1 by 19 and 5. The inner royal is 11 and 6 by 12 and 1. The outer royal is 10 and 2 by 10 and 2. Back tines are 17 and 4 by 19 and 2. The inner off the back tine is 16 and 3 by 8 and 2. There's a second inner off on the left hand side that's 7 inches. There's a third inner off on the left hand side that's 4 inches. There's a first outer off the back tine on the left at 10 and 3 and the right in 11 and 4. There's a second outer off the back tine on the left of 1 and 4 and a third outer off the back tine on the right at 6 and 5. So a few non-scoring points there as well um, for this 11 by 9. It's a grand total of 364 and 3 quarters. In this case, the beam measurement has been accentuated by the heavy antler lying between the short distance between the eruption of the bay and the tray tines. For many years it was believed the stag was taken by a local land owner, Eric L. Ridderford, but research of the records of the Wellington Acclimatisation Society revealed it was actually poached by Burroughs, confiscated by the society, and later purchased by Ridderford for a tidy sum of money. There is little doubt this was probably the finest stag ever taken from the range of the Wairarapa herd, and was secured within the confines of the Wainuiamata Water Reserve. Research of the written and photographic records of the Wellington Acclimatisation Society clearly changed the fact the stag had not been secured by Ridderford, a situation that was a little bit of a shock to his daughter, Rosemary Greenwood of Christchurch, when the facts came to light. This is a magnificent rack of antlers of pure Windsor Great Park strain, and must rank as one of the best ever produced by animals of this breed. The score of 364 and 3 quarters tells it all. Cheeky. (laughs) Coming up next is the last of the record series, New Zealand record for red deer antler for overall weight, and that was by the great man, Newton McConaughey, Whitcomb Pass, Whitcomb Valley, um, make sure you join us there for that one. And then we'll get into the representative trophies for the various New Zealand herds that come from the New Zealand record series for Red Deer. Make sure you're subscribed and you've left a rating. Um, that way this next trophy will just show up in your app um, and uh, share out with all your friends. Tag us on the social media post. That'd be much appreciated. We'll catch you next time. For the great man, Newton McConaughey. This is New Zealand Big Game Records Volume 6, The Red Deer Part 2, written and compiled for the New Zealand Deer Stalkers Association, incorporated by D. Bruce Banwell. Published by the Halcyon Press, a division of Halcyon Publishing Limited, PO Box 360, Auckland, 1140, New Zealand, printed by Prolong Press Limited, China. Um, copyright. 2011, D. Bruce Banwell, first published 2011, all rights reserved.